let's take a look at this horizon zero down that's how the interface looks some of the enemies you face some of the skills you can get some of the weaponry bow is the main weapon some of the armor you can make it has a quite a big map this is for a playstation 4 by the way that's how you select your weapons it's like a far cry with the robots you play a female character I wanted to climb there to show the landscape. I guess I can't. You need to collect resources to craft all kinds of things. That's how the robot enemies look. This game costs around one thousand one hundred or fifteen dollars or so. The landscape looks quite beautiful. Even the robot creatures are quite detailed. I'm guessing it's discovered us. Your main weapon is bow and arrow. I was, uh, I was pretty excited about this game when I saw the trailer at uh, E3. The game doesn't disappoint. You need to collect quite a lot of stuff in order to make things. There is a there is a lot of running around. That's how you save the game. Even in the cutscenes, there is a little bit of decision making. You do have some extra powers. You can uh, see the path the 
robot stick so you can uh, plan your moves the ethereal trailer they showed some uh, amazing ways to take down the robots but it's mostly stumbling around and uh, keep hitting it It's not as graceful as they show in the trailer. Some of the bigger enemies are uh, pretty hard to take down. I bet it only gets tougher uh, as the game progresses. It feels like it's more scary because they are robots rather than uh, animals. Beautiful graphics. Quite an uh, interesting take. It's quite fun to play. As I said, it's not as graceful as uh, it's in the trailer. It's mostly poking and uh, running around. I guess once you get would end this game. You can do some amazing moves. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Crusher's Stone Candy. Comes in this beautiful packaging. Yummy and chocolatey. PR Bon Bon. It's a vegetarian product. Ingredients are sugar liquid glucose, milk solids, vegetable fat, cocoa solids, gum arabic, gaur gum, starch, iodide salt, glazing agents, contains permitted synthetic food colors, added flavors. This has about 100 calories. It's manufactured in a New Delhi, India. So let's see how this look. That's how the candy looks, pretty spot on and it comes in a few colors, so let's taste it. It's a chewy candy, it's quite sweet and uh, very chewy, that uh, texture goes perfectly with the appearance, very tasty, quite nice, check it out. Let's take a look at this Dynamo 50 Mini Dodge. These are some of the features. That's how the Mini Dodge looks. This costs around uh, 299 rupees or uh, 4 dollars or so. It's really mini.
that's the name for class it's a mini wind up torch you know it's tiny enough to put on your kitchen it only weighs 25 grams and it's a wind up torch so you don't need to recharge it one minute wind up gives you about a three minutes of light this has a eight lumens it's surprisingly bright for its size Looks like this is quite a handy torch to have. It's pocketable and uh, rechargeable. My only issue is the handle, which seems to pop out really easily. That would get uh, quite annoying when you carry it in your pocket. It's not held uh, tightly. That would have made it really compact. Still, quite a nice mini torch though quite nice check it out let's take a look at this Gaylon restaurant at a church gate in mumbai they've been around since 60 years now beautiful uh, interior let's take a look at this kali dal and a uh, blue cheese naan costs around uh, 475 rupees or seven dollars or so really fun presentation that's Kali Dal and this is how the blue cheese naan looks this is an amazing combination didn't think blue cheese and uh, naan could go so well together when you get tired of eating that you can uh, add some Kali Dal which amps up the flavor really fun dish and uh, very tasty this is the Parsley Murug Kebab or a Chicken Kebab costs around a $5.75 or a $9 or so. It's really fragrant because of the parsley. Very tender chicken. It's a yummy combination with a amazing fragrance. Perfectly seasoned. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, garden tools. You get a three in this pack, costs around uh, 60 rupees or around a dollar or so. These are the three tools you get. One is quite pointed, you get a smooth handle. This comes really handy to dig holes to plant your seeds. The tip of it is made out of metal. So it could come handy for your uh, small gardening work. This is quite a bit wider uh, shovel really tiny and uh, very handy to use another uh, gardening tool has a smooth handle 
so quite comfortable to use quite handy for your uh, flower garden or your uh, zen garden quite nice check it out let's take a look at this breakfast granola this is by coco sutra peanut butter and uh, chocolate chunks that's how it looks 10 plus superfoods 100 percent natural you get uh, 10 servings in this bag beautiful packaging we are a gourmet food company with delight range of uh, food products and services that makes busy life easy they use all natural ingredients it's manufactured by wild child enterprise in a bangalore india this costs around uh, 300 rupees or uh, five dollars or so no more toss-ups between calorie bomb and, and uh, cereal so. options lacking nutrients that's why we have tossed a power pack goodness into our uh, peanut butter chocolate chunk artisanal granola cereal all natural rolled oats nuts seeds peanut butter honey dry fruit and uh, dark chocolate signature spice blends are uh, slow roasted to crunchy clusters of me perfection high in fiber no added trans fats zero cholesterol no artificial preservatives excellent source of protein and iron add chilled milk or a uh, yogurt i haven't tried a uh, granola with yogurt that should be interesting pre and post workout energy booster top it on a salad or a dessert ready to eat on the go snack so let's see what we get That's how the granola looks. It looks nice and smells even better. It has a hint of sweetness, very crunchy and uh, really yummy. Goes amazingly well with yogurt. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Aptonia Roll-On Massage. Comes in this small packaging. Those are some of the areas of your body you can use it for. They recommend using it for uh, 5 minutes. They have a video explaining on uh, how to use it. You just hold it in your hand and uh, roll it on the area that is painful. This costs around uh, 599 rupees or uh, 9 dollars or so. It's made in China. This is just the address of the Decathlon office in uh, different languages. So let's see what we get. It's just a glass ball held uh, in a plastic case which allows the ball to freely rotate. The glass ball has a very interesting design on it. And this whole thing is made out of plastic. So roll it on uh, any area that has pain and uh, it relieves pain. The glass ball feels really nice when it rolls against your body. Because of the plastic case, it's easier to roll rather than a uh, just holding the glass ball put, and you can also put whatever pressure you want the glass ball comes in a uh, quite a few interesting designs when you are not using it this could become a really nice looking uh, object quite nice check it out let's take a look at this Kiva Wheatgrass Detox This costs around uh, 250 rupees Around uh, 3 dollars or so You get uh, 6 of these in a pack It has uh, quite a short shelf life The ingredients are uh, 
green grass, aloe vera juice, cucumber juice, lemon peel extract and preservatives. It's manufactured in a Gurugram, India. You need to shake it up a bit before uh, drinking it. So let's taste it. It tastes like a beet grass. You definitely don't drink this for a taste. It's quite drinkable, not that bad. It has that uh, green veggie juice taste and that's quite good for you. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this banana leaf shaped uh, plate. This costs around uh, 40 rupees or uh, 80 cents or so. It has a banana leaf shape printed on it and it's also shaped like a banana leaf. It's by Lovish. That's the company that makes it. This comes in uh, quite a few sizes. This is the smallest one. In India, banana leaf is used as a temporary plate for uh, quite auspicious occasions like festivals and uh, weddings. So it's quite interesting to see a plastic plate like this because of the nice green color. Any food put on it looks really good. Banana leaves are getting harder and harder to find in our cities. So really interesting to see something like this. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this paneer butter masala cup noodles. It's by Nissin. Now they have come out with a paneer butter masala flavor. This should be interesting. Vegetarian product has about 480 calories. Manufactured in Karnataka, India. Costs around 50 rupees or 80 cents or so. Quite a lot of ingredients. Many spices for the paneer butter masala. They ask you to pour the water in and wait for uh, 3 minutes. So let's taste it. Mm. Quite a lot of spices. You even get tiny paneer pieces. So let's taste it. It's really good. It smells like paneer butter masala. It has uh, so much flavor. Tastes even better. And it goes with noodles really well. Now I want to try all the Indian curries with the noodles. This is really nice combination. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this growing crab. It's by Mint Museum of Toys in uh, Singapore. This costs around uh, 100 rupees or uh, 2 dollars or so. Expand 600% uh, of its size. These are the instructions. Fill the container with water, then place the pieces inside. Do not expect instant results. Takes 72 hours to soak up all the liquid knowledge. Amazing fun and uh, educational experience. It's made in China. That's how it looks. So let's see how much it grows. This is after uh, 72 hours. It's quite big, but uh, very slimy. Looks interesting. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this Asia Kitchen by Mainline China. It's how the restaurant looks. It's really nicely themed. 
that's how the table looks with it complementary boiled uh, soy peanuts they are uh, quite yummy this is the vietnamese clear chicken noodle soup costs around uh, 280 rupees or around uh, three dollars or so you also get big chunks of chicken and uh, vegetables that broth has a lot of chicken flavor all of them complement each other really well all of them give each other uh, different textures and uh, flavors and it goes really well with the soup also quite nice check it out let's take a look at this neckline slimmer takes years of your appearance dramatic results in just two days you can see from before and after gives you these results this is how you use it put it on your chest and use your neck to press it so let's see what we get this is what you get you get a carrying case you get an instruction sheet with the detailed instructions on how to use it more tips on how to use it this is what we get you need to open this it comes with a spring you also get a two additional springs i guess once you get used to it you can change the spring to the other ones you put this part on your uh, chest and uh, this on your uh, chin and uh, press it with your uh, chin slowly giving your uh, neck a workout it's supposed to slim your uh, neckline there is no way for me to test this i don't have any neckline issues interesting to know such a product is out there i was just curious to see and in no there were uh, neckline issues quite nice maybe check it out let's take a look on this cold press juice it's by fresh and pure this is apple juice it has a lemon and mint both these have no added sugar no added water and uh, no preservatives costs around uh, 65 rupees or a dollar or so ingredients are uh, apple juice lemon juice and mint this has 127 calories it's manufactured in uh, maharashtra india you need to shake it up a bit before uh, drinking taste it that's how it looks it's really yummy apple juice the lemon gives it a hint of sourness and the mint makes it really fresh that's the guava one it's guava with the chili costs around uh, 75 rupees or around a dollar or so so let's taste it the chili flavor goes really well with guava because these are uh, cold pressed you also get all the nutrients quite nice check it out 